Hey folks, uh, this is Mr. MathBlog and this lesson is dividing mixed numbers. So don't forget uh, all your lessons can be found right there. And let's go ahead and get started with our common core strand. And here's our question for our teachers. How do, how do we divide mixed numbers? Actually, our teachers know how to do this. Um, uh, so anyway, so Zeb has a box that weighs nine and a third pounds of M&Ms. Yummy, I love M&Ms. And uh, Zeb uh, uh, plans to make bags of M&Ms that are one and one six pounds a piece. Okay, remember, LB is uh, pounds, okay? So how many bags can Zeb make? Okay, so he has this many pounds and he's going to make uh, that, uh, bags that are that many pounds each. So we're going to go ahead and divide these numbers. So let's uh, underline the sentence that tells us uh, what, what are we trying to find. Well, usually that's our last sentence right there. So how many uh, uh, bags can Zeb make right there? And then circle, and I'm going to box the numbers that we need to solve the problem. So we need these two numbers, and we're going to divide those two numbers. Okay, so we're, I put a box around those. Let's go ahead and divide. All right, it's always good to estimate, you guys. So think of compatible numbers that these are close to that's easy to divide by. So this can be close to 9, and this can be close to 1. And 9 divided by 1 is going to be 1 right there. So if we get an answer close to 1, like, or close close to 9, sorry, like uh, 8 or 10, something, or even 11 or 12 or 7, something that's close to this number, then we can uh, think that our answer is a reasonable answer. All right, let's uh, uh, write those mixed numbers as fractions right here, okay? So 9 and 1 third, okay? So 3 times 9 is 27, 27 plus 1 is 28, so that's what goes right here is 28 right there, okay? And then 6 times 1 is 6 plus um, uh, 1 is 7, so we're going to put a 7 right there. Do you remember doing that? Okay, now we're going to use the reciprocal of the divisor. Here's the divisor. We're going to do the reciprocal and change that to a multiplication problem. So I like to use the phrase keep change flip. So we keep this fraction the same, change that to a multiplication, and flip that guy. Keep change flip. Here we go. Keep change flip. Okay, let's slide that up right there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and simplify that. Okay, so now we're going to do uh, simplifying by cross canceling. Okay, 3 goes into 3 once, so we'll put a 1 right here, and 3 goes into 6 twice, so we'll put a 2 right there. And I think I did that right over here, yeah. So 3 goes into 3 once and, and into 6 twice. Okay, 7 goes into 7 once, 7 goes into 28. How many times? four times. So we'll put that right up there. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and multiply. So four times two is eight. One times one is one. So we get an eight. All right. So now compare the estimate with the quotient. All right. So since the estimate, remember what we got for the estimate? It was nine, I think. So since the estimate of nine was clo is close to our answer of eight, then our answer is a reasonable answer. Let's always answer the question. So Zeb can make, how many bags can Zeb make of M&Ms? He can make eight bags of M&Ms. Yummy, I hope one of them's for me. All right, so let's try this. Let's uh, first estimate and then write the quotient in simplest form, okay? So first, before we, um, uh, before we start dividing, we gotta write the mixed numbers as fractions. So let's go ahead and estimate right here. So think of uh, nice numbers that we can round these guys to. So I'll take this to two, and this is one sixth, I guess. And over here, we'll take this to six, and I don't know, this is close to one half, because four over eight is one half. So we'll round this to one half right there, okay? All right, so two divided by six, okay? So how many one six goes into two right there, okay? So um, it's gonna be 12 right there. And then over here, we'll round this to six, and we'll round this guy to one half right here. So how many one halves go into six? Well, that's also 12. So now, um, uh, so both of these are gonna be an estimate of 12 right here. So as long as we get answers that uh, is close to 12, we should be good. Okay, let's write uh, the mixed numbers as fractions, okay? so. So uh, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, okay? Uh, I, th I don't know if I did that one here. So five, uh, 4 times 5 is 20, 20 plus 3 is 23. Yeah, I think I did on both of those right there. Okay, so now we're going to keep, change, flip. So there's the keep part right there. So keep these fractions the same. Now this is going to be a multiply, so keep change and then now we flip those guys okay now I'll do this one separately over here so three goes into three once into six two times and then we're left with seven times two 
over 1 times 1, which gives us 14. Okay, 4 goes into 4 once, it goes into 8 twice, so we're left at 23 times 2 over 1 times 3, and so we get 46 over 3, and then here I did long division to do uh, 3 goes into 46, 3 goes into 4 once, and then so that's 3, and so we subtract, 4 minus 3 is 1, slide the 6 down is 16, 3 goes into 16 5 times, Remainder of 1, so it becomes 15 and 1 third. Remember, start up here at the top and go clockwise. 15 and 1 third right there. Okay, so that guy's 15 and 1 third. Okay, so uh, Maya, D uh, Derek, Emma, and Dane share 3 and 1 thirds quarts of lemonade equally. I love lemonade. So how much did each receive? Okay, so we're going to divide 3 and 1 third divided by 4, and then we're going to check. Okay, it's always, always good to estimate, you guys, okay? And then so so um, uh, this kind of gives us a hint here. So what number divided by 4 equals 1? Well, I know this is closer to 3 than it is to 4, but to get a compatible number with this 4 right here, let's change that 3 and a third to 4. So as long as we get uh, uh, an answer that's close to this 1, we should be good, okay? So write the mixed numbers uh, uh, and the whole number as fractions, okay? So, so 3 and a third, here we are right here. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 1 is is 10 so this is going to be 10 thirds and this is just 4 over 1 right there okay there we go and then now we're going to um, uh, use the reciprocal of the divisor so that's where we do the keep change flip so we're going to keep this the same right there okay and then we're going to change the division to multiplication and then flip so it becomes 1 fourth and now we simplify and we cross cancel uh, 2 goes into 4 twice 2 goes into 10 5 times, okay, so I have that over here, 10 divided by 2 is 5, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then now we multiply, okay, so 5 times 1, 5 times 1 is 5, 3 times 2 is 6, all right. So let's check, you guys. So we're going to take this uh, um, uh, divisor right here, and we're going to multiply it times our answer, which is our quotient. So we're going to put the 5, 6 in here. And so if we multiply it by 5, 6, it should give us this 3 and 1 third right there. Okay, so it'll probably give us this 10 thirds right there. Okay, so 4 times 5, 6, we're going to go ahead and multiply. I did that right here. So 2 goes into, into uh, 4 twice, and 2 goes into 6 3 times. So 2 times 5 is 10, 1 times 3 is um, uh, 3 right there, and, and uh, that gives us uh, 10 thirds, which we got uh, 3 and a third right there. So it gives us 3 and a third, so our answer is correct. So each person will receive uh, 5 6 of a quart right there. Okay. So explain why our answer is reasonable using the information in the problem. Okay, well, uh, three and a fourth was close to a four. So four kids uh, shared about four quarts, and so four divided by four was one. And since our answer was five, six, was close to one, then the answer was a reasonable answer right there. Okay, let's answer a few more questions. So describe what we were trying to find in that last example. Well, that was the lemonade one right there. So how much lemonade was in each of the four groups? So explain how to divide um, uh, mixed number, uh, how dividing mixed numbers is similar to multiplying mixed numbers and how they're different. Well, it's similar because in both cases, we write the mixed numbers as fractions. And, and uh, where it's different is um, uh, when we divide, we rewrite the, the problem as a multiplication problem. And we do that keep, change, flip part right there. All right, so the last part is uh, the divisor is a division problem. Uh, the divisor in the division problem, sorry, is be if it's between 0 and 1 uh, and the dividend is greater than 0, uh, will the quotient be, will the answer, the quotient is the answer, be greater than or less than the dividend and explain. Okay, we've answered this over and over again. It's always going to be greater than. As long as our divisor is uh, between 0 and 1, like a fraction, I'll give you an example in just a second, uh, because the divisor between 0 and 1, uh, the dividend will contain more groups uh, the size of the divisor than it will contain in groups of 1. And you're thinking, what? What does that mean? Well, here's an example right here. Here's where the divisor is between 0 and 1. 1 half is a nice example. And 6 divided by 1 half is 12. And so here, here is the dividend right here and the quotient. The quotient is going to be bigger than dividend when this divisor is between 0 and 1. Okay? Numbers always make it a lot easier. All right, you guys. 
I hope that makes sense and take care and drink some lemonade.